like I go gun, grab and buy, I can go bust, I I can lose trust, I can where you they go, go, you they go up, catch my vibe, let me go up, climb the trash, man it's so tough. All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Magomeda. Circling to his right. Switching stances here. Uppercut lands for him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what. The not great body language here. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Effective punch there by Sterling. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Magomedov. Sterling gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Straight punch lands. Nice combination of strikes there by Mago Meta. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. First round winding down here. That one sound means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yep. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in the of the world. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Back to the feet now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhooks. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands. That had some zip on it. Sterling's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. That's a perfect scramble right there. Perfect chances. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Ten seconds remain in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action now. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that one. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Was a great single. Oh! Down. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of it. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that, oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Continues to work the body here. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit. Yeah, at this point, early in the fight.
fight, you saw his opponent's head snapping back. You could see the effect the punches were taking. Now he may as well just smack the front arm like, good job, guy. What a fight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Our bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hit the skate, DC. Uh, working inside the closed guard now. Sterling's lower jaw is just... Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, wow, oh! 30 seconds left in the round. He might get a finish here. This is a really, really close fight. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judge. The official decision is in. It resides.